Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. Today we have brought a video regarding PhD program which is conducted under the MUHS that is Maharashtra University of Health Sciences. In this video we will be getting the brief idea about the PhD program. First of all, you are uh, watching the university approved PhD courses titles with eligibility criteria. So we will be watching in which stream you can do your PhD. So in faculty of medicine, you can do your PhD in anatomy, PhD in medical biochemistry, PhD in medical physiology, PhD in pathology, PhD in medical pharmacology, PhD in medical microbiology, PhD in obstetric and gynecology, PhD in orthopedics, PhD in pulmonary medicine, PhD in otorhinolaryngology, PhD in pediatrics, PhD in general medicine, PhD in anesthesiology, PhD in molecular biology and genetics, PhD in medical genetics, PhD in applied medical biology, PhD in forensic medicine and toxicology, PhD in clinical pharmacology, PhD in pharmaceutical medicine, PhD in community medicine, PhD in dermatology and venerology, PhD in geriatrics, PhD in general surgery, PhD in pediatric nephrology. So these are the all stream where total there are 24 stream where you can do PhD in medical fraternity that is uh, post MBBS or equivalent fraternity. Now we will see about the faculty of dentistry who can do PhD uh, in concerned subjects. So the options available are PhD in conservative dentistry and endodontics, PhD in prosthodontics and crown bridge, PhD in periodontology, periodontology, I'm sorry if I'm mistaken, PhD in oral and maxillofacial surgery, maxillofacial surgery, PhD in orthodontics and dentofacial orthopedics, PhD in public health dentistry, PhD in oral medicine and radiology, PhD in oral pathology and microbiology. So this was the eight streams where uh, one can do his PhD in the field of dentistry. Now we will be uh, watching about the fraternity of Ayurveda, the, who can do PhD in uh, Ayurveda and in which subject one can do his PhD in Ayurveda. So here are the subjects in front of you, PhD in Samhita Siddha, PhD in Shari Rachana, PhD in Shari Kriya, PhD in Agat Tantra, PhD in Dravya Guna, PhD in Rishya Shastra and Bhashajya, PhD in Rogmidan and Vikruti Vidyan, PhD in Swastavrata, PhD in Kaiji Kitsa, PhD in Shalya Tantra, PhD in Shalakya Tantra, PhD in Sridog and Prasuti Tantra, PhD in Kaumar Vidya, PhD in Panchakarma, PhD in Yoga, PhD in Preventive Cardiology, okay, so here, uh, this was the list about total 16 in number for which one can do PhD in Ayurveda. Next, we will be watching about the Unani Fraternity. So only one course is available for the Unani Fraternity for the PhD course, that is PhD in Morley Jack. Moving on. So next one is the PhD in Homeopathy Fraternity. So available courses are PhD in Homeopathic Materia Medica, PhD in Organon and Homeopathic Physiology. I'm sorry, Philosophy. PhD in Repertory and Case Checking. PhD in Practice of Medicine. PhD in Homeopathic Pediatrics. PhD in Homeopathic Psychiatry. PhD in Homeopathic Pharmacy. So total seven options were made available by the MHS for the fraternity of homeopathy. The next one is PhD in nursing. Uh, those who want to do PhD in nursing, they can pursue the PhD program after the MSc in nursing stream. Next come is the PhD in physiotherapy. For that, one has to complete his MSc in physiotherapy or 
Master of Physiotherapy. And finally, we have PhD in Occupational Therapy under the MUHS for which one has to do Masters of Occupational Therapy. Now, as you are on the Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel, we will be uh, classify or you can say we will be uh, watching more details about the PhD program in Ayurveda. So, in front of you, here are the courses available for the PhD in Ayurveda and the subdivision is provided by the MUHS that who can appear for PhD in particular subject or concerned subjects. So I will uh, read few for you. Then you will get you will get the idea who can do PhD in which subject. Who is the eligible person for the concerned subject? So very first is PhD in Samhita Siddhant. So only person having MD Ayurveda degree in Samhita and Siddhant can proceed for the PhD in Sanita Siddhant. For PhD in Rachana Sharir or Sharir Rachana subject, the person or the physician or doctor who is MD in Rachana Sharir or Sharir Kriya or MS in Ayurveda, Shalya can appear for the PhD in Sharir Rachana. Same thing about the PhD in Sharir Kriya. Candidate having MD Ayurveda degree in Shari Rachana, Shari Kriya, Samhita and Siddhanta and Kai Chikitsa. They can proceed for PhD in Shari Kriya. So on the list is provided and we will provide this list in the description box. And if you have further query, you can ask us on the comment box. Now talking about the approved colleges and the intake capacity about the PhD courses under the MUHS, they have provided a 75 pages list of the colleges where the PhD program is conducted. For the Ayurveda also, they have provided the list of colleges. You can see on the website as well as you can get this information on the description box. I will shortly elaborate one of the example for the PhD program and here you can see the Tilak Ayurveda Mahavidyalaya Pune. So one can do PhD in Savita Siddhanta, Shari Rachana, Shari Kriya, Dravegun, Rashtrastra and Vaishajya in Rognida and Vikruti Vigyan, Swastavritta, Kaya Chikitsa, Shalakya Tantra, Kamaravritya and in Panchakarma. So you can see the intake capacity of each subject and they have been subdivided in the open SEST. VJ, A, NTB, NTC, NTD, OBC, S, E, B, C and E, W, S category. So after the exam, uh, as per the merit list criteria, you will be able to apply for the uh, above said or in front of you courses and you can get the admission for your PhD course. Talking about the fee structure for the PhD courses, here we have a notification which was released by the MUHS by date 20th March 2019. So fees to be paid by the PhD scholar to the university for the first year is 20,900 and fees to be paid by the PhD scholar at the place of research is around 38,500. You can see the subdivisions of the fees. Registration fee 11,000, student welfare fund 2,300. Developmental fee 2200, plagiarism checking fees 5500. In second option, lab and hospital fees 11000, library fees 5500, tuition fees 16500, and caution money which is refundable is 5500. For fees from the second year, annual fees will be 27500, which will be applicable after the approval of title of synopsis. And Fees for the extension of PhD course work 
per year will be 4,400 for the maximum period of two years only. Moving on to the information brochure for the PhD program for the year 2022 and 2023. We have uh, recently got this brochure and we will provide this brochure to you in the description box or you can get this brochure on the MHS website uh, in the month of May or June every yearly. So you have to keep eye on the website if you want to do PhD in Ayurveda. So briefly talking about this uh, PhD program in Ayurveda, I will shortly explain you what kind of exam is been conducted, how much money you have to invest and the other things. So first of all, the uh, brochure has been released by the MHS in the month of June, uh, May, June of this 2022 year. And firstly, it was up to the 31st May. Later on, it was extended up to the June month for the students to get enrolled in the PhD program. Talking about the fees for the entrance examination, the open category students will have to pay 5,000 rupees and the students with OBC and other category deserved categories, they will have to pay 3,500 for the entrance examination. Moving on, we have two papers in the PhD examination, paper one and paper two. Paper one will be of the research methodology and your cognitive thinking. Other questions uh, will be asked um, about your cognition. And second paper will be of your concerned subject. Uh, whichever subject you choose for your PhD will be provided. Each question paper will carry 100 marks. And each paper will have 50 questions. That is, each question will have the two marks. So though no negative marking is been applicable for this examination, you can score easily uh, if you have the thorough knowledge of your subject and you have well knowledge about your research methodology subject. All the information instructions are already provided in this brochure. Uh, we will provide this brochure you, to you and uh, you can go through it thoroughly. But for the short instruction, I must have to tell you that you have to take precautions, some precautions while giving this examination. The rules are very strict for the PhD entrance examination. So if uh, you want to clarify clarify or you are to clear the PhD entrance, then you have to follow some precaution. That is, you don't have to write anything on the question paper. It means that you are not allowed to even do a single scratch on the question paper. Otherwise, your result will be kept held and the reason will be given that you are found under the unfair mean practices for the examination. Second, similar thing happens with the OMR sheet, that is the answer sheet. Uh, you have to be very careful while writing your roll number, question number, book plate number, and you don't have to uh, encircle the multiple options. Otherwise, this also been considered as unfair mean of practices while the examination and same your result will be kept held and you will not be allowed for the further process of the admission to the PhD program. Further, you will be charged or you will be fined. You will be given penalty of around 7,000 rupees, which will have to pay if you want to see your results and proceed for the admission in PhD program. The examination is conducted in the Nashik city and the centers and admission card or hall ticket will be provided online 15 days prior to the examination. So this was the brief information regarding the PhD program conducted by the MUHS that is Maharashtra University of Health Sciences. If you have any query other than this information, you can Contact us 
or you can put your query in the question uh, comment box and we will try to answer it as good as we can so that's all about the phd program have a nice day and we will see you in some another video we will try to keep uh, try to bring such kind of videos for the fraternity of ayurveda students of ayurveda so have a nice day goodbye